Welcome to a wet and windy Wakefield. It's spitting. <laughs> Everybody in. Massive thanks to Maria who bought us chocolate. We love chocolate. Uh, she bought us chocolate and massive thanks to everybody that's commented, uh, watched the video, liked it, subscribed. Massive thanks. Couldn't have uh, done this without some of your help, to be honest. A lot of you gave me a lot of inspiration and you've also gave me some ideas where to look for parts and find parts. Today, what we're going to be doing today then. So the body is on the SLK, but that's the easy part. Now it's the bit of putting it all together. So the tedious little tiny bits that we've got to do. Job today is we've got loads of tubing, metal tubing. Uh, what's that, 25 by 25 and, ooh, uh, don't even know what the other one is. 25 by... 25 by, right, 25 by 25 and ooh, 25 by 60, 60, roughly. That, we're going to make a skeleton underneath the body that we're going to weld to the SLK. We've just been, I think this is the latest we've started a video because we've just been talking for hours, trying to work out how to do the skeleton for it. What we want to do is we want to get the body of the SLK is level. Obviously, we need to get the gullwing body level so that it sits right. First of all, what we're going to do is we've looked at that is the centre point there of the car. We're then going to take a centre point between the chassis legs at the front. Same again at the back, centre point of the chassis, so we know where the centre of the car is. Once we know where the centre of the car is, then we can get all of this right, make sure it's that way. We also have got date and points that we're going to be using, again, chassis legs and the floor of the, the car so that we can raise it all over it. The first job we really need to do is get in some supports underneath here because as you can see, it's still flexing. So we need to get some supports underneath the wings and weld them in place, get the front level, and then we'll work our way back and make sure everything's level. So that's the plan for today. Before we start any uh, work on this, we just need to make, like, say, make sure that we've got it at a level. So what we've done is we have just put a straight edge across the chassis legs. Uh, Use a digital level, and as you can see, bang on zero zero. So, if we do the same at the back, make sure that means we know the SLK body is straight before we start messing about trying to get the uh, gullwing body level as well. And as you can see at the back as well, we put the spirit level between the uh, chassis legs, and we're zero on that. So, we know that the SLK body is absolutely bang straight. What we're doing at this point is actually making sure that the bonnet of the gullwing fits. Now the bonnet's actually made up of two pieces, so you've got your inner structure there that you can see actually resting on the car. We needed to make sure that all of that section there cleared everything in the engine bay and the bulkhead. Once we did that, then we can actually put the skin of the bonnet on and make sure that that fits. We wanted to make sure that everything lined up first of all and as you can see that there's a piece of timber on the front of the gull wing that's supported by a jack. That's just lifting the body up just to make sure that everything is clear. Once we knew everything was clear and the body was at right height, what we could do at that point is then start cutting some one by one tube to make supports for the inner wings. The, these are going to be bolted on at the moment or just screwed on just uh, to keep the body in place at the moment. Once we get all the framework all completed, all done, roll cage all done, then all this will be all bonded on and glass fibred in. But at this moment it's just bending them, tacking them in place to make sure that we get everything nice and level.
we're going to put a bend in this to follow the uh, the wing and uh, Alex just said uh, I'll do the little bends Alex can do the uh, the big bends <laughs> Jump. there you go sir smack away Damaging the oh, uh, damaged auto piece of wood. automotive uh, timber. That's bending press, you mean? Yeah, bending press. <laughs> well, that's got a bit of a curve on it. That's a nice curve, is that? Still more. needs a lot more. No, a bit more, doesn't it? Yeah. That's it. We need to get a press, don't we? Yeah, we're showing that we can do it without any tools, aren't yeah. we? Yeah, yeah. Uh, without the use of any specialist tools. Well, apart from us two. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad, actually. Yeah, just a tiny little bit on the back. Just back bit. Yeah, just, just a bit. tiny, yeah. Tiny little bit. All the technical equipment here, Alex and a big hammer. And That's all you need. And safety equipment. And safety equipment, yeah. Spot on. Yeah? yeah. Right, should we cut another piece and mirror that? Yeah, we just need to make it turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's what mirroring means. <laughs> Right, okay, Mr. Alex, would you like to explain what you're doing? Um, we're just going to put some infill pieces in here. Yep, and we're using it out that bigger box. Yeah, section, bigger box because it's quite a structural area. Yep. Because uh, radiator mounts to this. Radiator and bonnet. Bonnet, everything, really. Yep. Okay. Uh, just squaring it up to make it look neat and tidy. And that's, you've already, we've already put a uh, well through primer on it, haven't yeah. we? So that's a uh, lot better. Right, so we're just getting the angle right. What we've done there, welded in, we're just tacked in at the moment the supports for the wings. Um, we've just put a, a tapper in. I'm putting my finger over that old side. <laughs> Stop laughing. I'm not laughing. No, I, uh, I drilled it wrong. Yeah, so a little self tap in there. And that's just obviously holding the body. As you can see now, the body is nice and strong on the front. It's all level at the front, so we're just filling in some infill pieces. And then what we'll do is we then are gonna are we gonna do the back then um yeah i think back because them dark yeah. bits are going to be quite yeah so then we're going to do the back section so we'll probably put some supports just in here uh, at the moment and then once the supports are in then we can actually start filling uh you can see between the door there we're going to put some filler pieces in there so Underneath this step really here, obviously there's nothing there because there's no door there. So we're going to take the body off and actually put some rails going uh, all, the way all the way across here and tie them all in so they're all nice and strong.
Right, do you want to set them set that tape off? Yeah. Okay, so bonnet on. We know it fits well, look at that, it fits really well actually. We just had to raise the bodywork up just a tad. That's a technical measurement, isn't it? Ta uh, well, either a tad or a nat cocker is another technical mechanical term. Um, so we just had to raise the bodywork up just a tiny little bit because we wanted to make sure that the strengthening frame for the bonnet went in without fouling everything or having to chop a lot more out. And obviously we've got obviously the engine to get in. Uh, we didn't want to drop the bodywork down, engine sticking up, and so we've had to compromise with a few things. But we've done that, so strength of the sits in nice. It's not touching anything now, really good. We've got the, we just got a strengthening tube down here, one down there, two. Oh, do you want to just grab that? Yep. Two supports on the inside, and then we screw the bodywork to those supports. So as you can see. It's really strong. That's just those little bits at the moment. And at the back, uh, we've all we've done at the back, we've just put some legs in the back, some pieces of tube in the back, and then screwed it to that as well. So as you can see, it is really strong. So now what we're gonna be able to do is take measurements from the floor of the SLK to the steps on the side, and then we can start welding that section in. So we'll take the measurements and then we'll take the bodywork off. Whether this is a genius idea or not, I don't know. It's easy to do it obviously out of timber at the moment. We get a piece of timber like that because the sill is obviously underneath here. We need to make like a framework, don't we? That goes in here. Goes under it, yeah. Right, so if I put that, oh, sign's falling off. So if I put that underneath there, measure from the sill to the bottom of that. Whoa, she's talking to me. Right. I hope you're not filming my bald spot. What bald spot? Right, so from there. I can't see for glare now. <laughs> right. I'm going to say 170, and that gives us a bit of uh, that gives us a bit of leeway. Measure twice. Yep, 170. So we've cut that piece down. Um, we're going to use yeah, do it that way. 170. Sounds like I know what I'm talking about, doesn't it? Yeah, sounds almost professional. Sound <laughs> almost professional. That's, that's the piece of timber that we've made, which is universal. Yeah. Show them how it's universal. Look at that. Now it fits the other side. Yeah, one side does it, one size fits all. Yep. Right. So that goes on the marks there. We'll put a piece across, let's say we'll put a piece of that box across the bottom there, kick it up there, weld it into the back, into the arch. That'll give us some strength in the arch. And then we'll do a piece across there and then we'll just ladder it down there and join it into the front there. Yeah, yeah? cool. Crack on.
Yeah. Okay. We started, we took the bodywork off and we just reinforced these weld areas. So this is where the front wings sit. Ah, that's what you've that's, just welded. That's just welded that. Welded that. <laughs> so, yeah, this part, don't touch, <laughs> this part obviously sits perfectly on the wing. Let's say the drill holes are there. The body will sit on there, wings sit on there. Move around to the sides. We've only just tapped these at the moment. This is where, this is, you aren't welded. Not for right. a while, no. Not for a while, so that's all right, yeah. So these, we've just put these in at the moment. Like I said, we've only just tapped them in. So it's strengthened into there and into there and down into there. So there's loads and loads of strength into that thing. That is where the side steps are. So all the weight will be taken by the side steps. And then in the back, really we haven't done anything. We just put, like I say, the posts. They're just sticking up just to hold the body and keep it in place. But once they're in, so it seems like fabrication, fabrication work takes absolutely forever. Have you noticed, have you noticed Alex is concentrating on the side that he, but he did, he welded. Not looking at my experts. Like, no, don't look at that. It's fine. <laughs> fine. <laughs> fine. So yeah, fabrication work just seems to take ages. I love doing fabrication work, but it just takes a long, long time. So you guys do it every day, day in, day out, hats off to you. Uh, right, so what we're going to do now, get the bodywork on. Do you want to hand the camera over to uh, our uh, standing, standing cameraman, cameraman. After the afternoon? Mr. Lewis, thank Co you, sir. Collected. Right. Mr. B? I can certainly see try. If, uh, I don't know if you can see. Can you see the... Uh, you can see the framework, but you can't really see the body resting on it. Can no. you not? No. I, I shall get a torch to show the tubers. Is that what call them? That's what you call them. Yeah. No, it's quite a Spawn, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely bang on that. Touching all the way down. Cool, which is good. So I think that's it. Um, we've got next week, we're going to do strength around the back, strength around the, uh, around the back, and then we're going to borrow a, a tube bender off our good friend Shane at STG. Thanks, Shane. Uh, we're going to borrow his tube bender and we're going to start bending tubes for the roll cage for the inside and tie everything together well there like i said at the moment it's all just welded it's all just spot welded at the moment so we'll probably get all this welded up uh next week or maybe over the weekend i don't know yet and then concentrate on that next week um thanks very much for watching hope you enjoyed this week i know it hasn't been as uh, much as we did last week but hey ho that's uh, that's application work for you. Uh, if you like what you've seen, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, any comments, always welcome. Take care.